Hello guys, wherever you are in the world, welcome and welcome to day eight of my 21 day intermittent fasting challenge. Let's get into the video. Hello guys, that was a little bit of a handful. I had to actually figure out that title. Um, <laughs> Lastminute.com. I wasn't sure what I was doing because I know I'm going on for 21 days. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Sorry, you might be a little bit lost. I am going on for 21 weeks, but I wasn't too sure what to call everything if I should start because I re refeed yesterday if I should start day one if I should, oh doesn't matter anyway I've concluded this is day eight and I'm going on for 21 weeks and because I am doing some different types of uh fasting electrolyte I didn't want to call it snake juice as much as I'm a snake juice fan and I'm doing this for the last next seven weeks um the electrolytes I'm going to be taking will be snake juice even as they I'm nearly running out and Cole himself has um, voice note me on Instagram um, telling me he's out of stock and what to do. So um, for the grace of God, I hope I don't have to make it myself. So, OK, I overslept yesterday, but I needed it. If you watch my video, I haven't really been sleeping. I keep I could do that to you sometimes. I didn't realise it was that um, and fasting, but. I had something called Slim Aid. Have I got it? Slim. Oh, sorry. Just had these things together. I had something called Slim AM, which is like a recovery drink um, and muscle repairer. I worked out yesterday. Oh my God, it feels. I'm a person that suffers from DOM. Now, I did kettlebells, and if it wasn't for this, I would be walking like there's a stick up my, you know. Um, I feel so well rested. As much as I woke up late, um, I feel well rested. It's still early, but I woke up late. But you know what? It happens sometimes. So um, I'm just getting in, get into, getting into the groove of my miracle morning. Um, so it's another challenge that I have that I'm not doing very good at. But I know it's it's there and it's there for my success. Anyway, um, I just made myself some warm water it's kind of getting cold now and lemon i'm gonna put a dash of apple cider vinegar this is just to neutralize my digestive system i refed yesterday keto a lot um and i'm going in for another four days or well, three days 20 something hours um the reason why i say that because i was kind of contemplating with myself yesterday how am I going to break this fast because yesterday I realized that this big refeed because I'm so sorry I like to give myself gaps in between the times that I refeed the the, the meals that I had like yesterday I had a uh, seaweed and a uh, protein shake and some nuts I need to give myself like a little time to just eat one thing after another and by the time you prep it by the time I film it the time is gone I mean I ate my last meal going on to 8 30 and that's just way too late for me so uh, I've been sitting there contemplating what I'm gonna do because it all depends on if my daughter goes to um, school and after school club so we're on lockdown and all the schools are shut but because I am a key worker I am entitled for her to go to school. So I hadn't heard back from the school, so I wasn't sure what was going on. So it was a case of um, if she's just in it for school times, I can pick her up. By the time we're home at four o'clock, I can start eating from then and finish by seven. If, because I want to give myself, sorry guys, I slept well, honestly. I want to give myself time for my food to digest so I can do my workout. So it was a case of, OK, if if that's the case, then I need to figure out a time that if she goes to school, this is the time I break my fast. If she doesn't, it, after school club, sorry, if she doesn't, this is the time I break my fast. So then I know where I stand. So I have concluded, I've come up with, if she does, doesn't, does go after school club. Sorry, I lost myself. So if she does go after school club, does, I have to break my fast by one o'clock. So I'm finished by four. 
and that I can go and leave the house, pick her up and come back home for seven, sort her out, get her in bed by eight, eight thirty, and then have my work. Or I can, if she doesn't go after school club, I can pick her up at the time I pick her up. We get home at four. I start eating at four and finish by seven. So either way, I've got a plan because I'm not eating on the bus. I'm not eating on the train. So I need to figure this out quite quickly. And I had to give myself some options. So this is a, another thing I love about intermittent fasting. There isn't no rules per se. It's a very flexible. There is an idea of how things should be run, but you are not bogged down to a set regime of how things need to be. You just have to know that you have to do a certain amount of hours, give or take. And some some days, especially the beginning or the end, you'll always be lacking or more. Either way, you go with the flow. You don't give yourself an excuse to not finish the fast or do the fast in the way that you would like to do it because the rules don't all sit in the line because that's the beauty about intermittent fasting. There isn't that. Like So in that case... If I um, finish at a certain time, I'm going to end up finishing my fast at three days, 20, 20 something hours. Do you understand what I mean? Because I'm giving myself that gap. So that's all it is. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So rude of me. So I've got the lemon in there. So I'm going to add a little bit more hot water to that because it's gone a little bit cold and I don't like drinking, especially with the apple cider vinegar. If you know anything about me, I have a love-hate relationship with this, but this is... The good stuff. Um, I think um, later on, I'll probably do an apple cider shot, especially because I re refit yesterday, just to help clean out my kidneys and help with my liver and all those organs you need to look after because we don't understand that because we don't see them doesn't mean they don't get affected. So the next thing I have is my Nutriverse. So this is a, a liquid multivitamin. Now, I take uh, vitamins when I do prolonged fast. I take vitamins every day. And one of the things, reason why I do is because I saw myself in my first stage of fasting when I first lost the first initial weight. Yes, I lost the weight or whatever, but I looked like death. The second part, yes, I lost the weight again, lost the further weight I needed to lose. And I looked amazing, my hair, everything, because I took everything I needed to take, except for my hair was shredding later on. And then I had to take something called HS, HSN which is a hair supplement, which I take every day and I'm going to be taking every day for the next six months. So this one is a multivitamin. It, uh, um, to take it, you need to take like a tablespoon a day. I give this to my daughter as well. If you know anything about this vitamin, you've seen people take the cup. You can take the cup if you've got the money. The only thing is it's going to go down very, very fast. This is a month's supply. And with my daughter taking it, we go through two a month. If I took a cap, we'd go for four a month. I don't have money like that. And even if I did, I just think it's a waste. Sometimes, sometimes, not sometimes, you can have too many vitamins. So, and they just piss out. They just go to waste. So sometimes it's, it's, it's really not necessary. Another thing is um, water. So I have my water prepped. And my goal is to drink at least 500 meals. Um, if you know anything about me, I'm not the best and the best girl when it comes to drinking the snake juice. As much as I take the sachets by coal now, um, one of the reasons why I take this, even as it costs money, I don't think it's too expensive. I want to support the guy that did the that that made the um that made the video, and I think it tastes better. Plus, it's got everything I need. When I make my snake juice, I don't put um I have potassium and I have magnesium, but I don't have um, the other elements in it. So, um, and I find it very, very hard to drink. Sorry, guys, I just seem very slow today. Um, so, um, pausing, da 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 da. So this is it. So this will make one litre of snake juice. If you wanted less, you just put less in the packet. So... This is me. It's a much better blend, much easier to drink. And it dissolves a lot more easier. So that's me. And hopefully I can drink that in a day or two. 
what I do know is that I'm going to put be putting in some dry fasting. So when I do, I'm going to make sure that um, I the day before I drink a litre of the snake juice and I'm going to take some uh, salt tablets. The, 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 the early, early, because I'm going to be waking up early, miracle morning, I'm going to be taking some salt tablets. I don't know if I'll take it in the morning, the night before to help as well. So that's me done. So yesterday, after my workout, I ended with my massager and my alleviate cream because I have, so after I had bought a bath, a shower, did I have a shower, shower bath? I can't remember. I put my waist trainer on. I've tightened it up a lot more tight. Each time I go to the toilet, I try to pull it. But there was there was so much I could have pulled. Like, look, I could pull more. So I really need to be pulling more. So what it, the why this happened is because each time you um you take it off, you have to. You have to make it big from the back again just to get it back on. So you're always you're always ending up with having to re-pull it. So it can become up, it become it can become a little irritating, but you know what? It's the price of the game, and that's the price. So I'm okay with that. And the strings are not equal. I need to sit down and kind of level things out. So I'm pulling the bottom one now. And that's me done. I'm getting I'm getting a lot used to it. Like I said last week, I couldn't wear it on my period. And I, I slept with it okay this yesterday. But that's because I never washed my um my bodysuit. So when I get it washed, which is today, I'll get that back on. Because I prefer wearing that one to sleep than this. If Because I've had a few bad nights with this. Not even a few, just one. But yesterday I slept fine with it. So maybe it just had to do with a lot of hormones at that time. So, like I said, I use this Alleviate Cream, which will help tighten up my skin, even out. It's a CBD uh, cream oil base, so it has a lot of uh, medicinal properties. So, it's going to get to the cells, any damaged cells, um, help repair them or get help, help whatever CBD does within a uh, cellular level. So, we've got that. Next thing I'm taking is to help with my immune system with all these viruses going around. This is not a joke. So I'm here and I'm taking two capfuls, two capfuls, yeah, two caps. And the reason why I take two is because I take the NutriBurst. It's advised to take three a day, but if I take two a day, I've worked out that it will last me three months. Now I did do a course in supplements so i'm qualified to kind of give the doses out given the individual so if you want any more um help on how to take any of these or you want to order order them the links will be below or for any of the supplements i forgot how to put the apple cider in it oh god but that's one way to drink it Okay, done. Goose pimples as usual. That's what this drink does to me. And um, I'm set up for the morning, guys, really. I am going to um, go and wash my face and I'll come back and show you my routine. Um, I have got a few things to do in and outside the house. Mostly I have to go and get some stuff because we are in lockdown. So I have to get some stuff um, to just finish off my... Um, mood board some stationary stuff and come straight back home and then get ready for tomorrow i've got the gas people coming that's one of the reasons why eden couldn't go to school today and then um i'm set up apart from that i'm good guys so i hope that helped um refeed was good yesterday it's my that was my official first keto refeed fully keto um saying that the retest so like I said, it's not the best time to kind of be rest retesting your ketos in the morning, but I didn't do it yesterday. So I've only got two strips left. I'm going to order um, some more on oh, Friday. Yes, when I get paid. 
I'm going to order some on Friday and then I can do a lot more testing throughout the month. So I am going to test today now and then I'm going to test uh, tonight. See where that is. I do love it when I've refed and my and my levels are still quite low. That does make me feel really, really good. So let me get my levels reading here so we know. So this will tell you where you're at when it comes to the levels. And then later on, I'm going to measure myself and I'm going to put that into my app. If you want any um, debt-free downloads, down, down, downloadables to do intermittent fasting or some keto downloads, or you're interested in any of my program, my fitness programs, or you would like coaching from me, please see the links below. So the best thing to do is get these trips opened straight away because fiddling with them is no joke when you've got blood all over your hands. So I put them on top of the, the plastic. go so i've got my stick i've got my lancet i think it's called and i've got it at number five so i am going to start with pricking my finger from the side a lady taught me this on facebook and yeah it works it works um like i said the prick is so good it doesn't really i haven't seen any problems with my fingers it's so light one, one thing tip I would like to give is don't flinch. I used to flinch a lot, but I just keep it there and I find that the blood comes out a lot better. Okay, so the Keto Mojo, all Bluetooth, all connects, knows the time, everything. I'm going to put it in and it's going to read what strip is there. So this one is GLU, which is the glucose level one. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot of blood for it to um, get its reading, which is really good, but... It does hurt like a so I'm here and I'm gonna start squeezing to get as much blood out. There you go. And um, guys, I don't like like this makes me squeamish, but I'm getting used to it if you know what I mean. Like I don't like pricking myself, I don't like all of this blood taking. But thank god I'm not diabetic, but it's really not that bad. So my glucose level is 5.6. So I think those dates got me really out of ketosis. So it's got, so my blood level sugars are back high. They're not dangerously high or anything. So when you're in a fasting period, your blood level glucose goes low so between three and lower. So if you're, if you're 3.3, 3, you're in your fasting zone and lower. So we've gone up, we are 5.6, when still good glucose zone, so optimal glucose zone. So we're there, we're 5.6, which is, which is not too bad for a refeed. And I ate a lot and I did have a few dates. I'm having, a, I think I had about 12 dates altogether. Um, I, I'm glad that the packet's finishing for my next refeed. I'm not going to buy them again because they're very addictive. And then the next thing we are checking is our ketone levels. Now, this is the interesting part. To see how much more of ketosis that I'm in will be interesting to see. And then it will calculate what your levels are all together and it will let me know but it'll let me know once i finish so 0 0.6 which is still nutritionally ketosis so light moderate but i'm still very good i'm good so i'm out, I'm out of ketosis to it to a certain point but um yeah 0 0.6 it's not too bad so i will check and leave it right here what the calculation is all together um but still it's a lot more better than being um all the other readings that i've had um 
definitely so refeeding keto does play a, a, a really vital part on keeping that momentum of that fat burning going on for a little bit longer i feel full i feel satisfied no cravings going on normally with the carbohydrates right now the second day of this fasting i would really be clucking i'd really be wanting i'd really be missing either what i had or what i didn't have or what i could have there is no option now i ate fats and protein galore yes i had some fruit and i had some dates but that is you know something that i'm working on but i think after seven eight uh six to seven day fast i deserved it and it was well received okay guys it was my pleasure i will check in with you in a bit because that was a long introduction and let you know how the rest of my day is going. But I think I'll start keeping a lot of these uh, videos a lot more shorter and um, yeah, to the point, basically. Okay, take care.